a trophy pink salmon. Hey, I'll show you guys and gals how to catch these pink salmon, common trophy and unique, out here on Knick Creek in Alaska in Fishing Planet. Greetings and salutations everyone, Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital here and today we're going to do some fishing. We are out here in Alaska on Knick Creek, the final waterway available in Fishing Planet's current build and we're going to go for pink salmon. Now these things, uh, they're throughout the creek, but I found a few good spots for them. I'm going to show you guys where they're at. First thing we're going to do is start off by lure fishing with a topwater walker, half ounce, three odd hook, natural color. It is a cloudy day, so um, I got the rod and reel lined up with about 28 pound line just in case we get into some bigger salmon. Now for float fishing, we're going to start off using a 3 odd hook, spawn sex, 22 pound line at 10 inches deep. Not very deep for these guys, these pink salmon like to go shallow, stay shallow it seems like, so this is a setup we'll be using. We're also going to use large minnows a little bit later to fish for them as well, so without further ado guys, let's get out here. Try to catch ourselves some pink salmon here in Alaska on Knick Creek. So here we are still in Alaska. Well, I'm back in Alaska. I actually went to Florida for a live stream and ended up coming back here to finish off the series. And here we go. We got a topwater walker, half ounce, three odd out there. Guys, I spawned in at Taming the Knick. And you want to go to your right. And when you go to your right, you'll see like a little island. That's where I'm on. Oh, we got a fish on already off the top water walker. The little island is where I'm at. And I just cast to the left of me out there. We got a fish on here. Now the walkers so far seem to work pretty good for these pink salmon. Over here, I've caught them off other spoons and stuff in different areas. But the best lure I've found so far has been a walker or a popper over here. We got ourselves a little, little pink salmon, little uh, 3.8 pounder. Not bad. That's all right, though. We'll go ahead and keep it, put it in the keep net. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these pink salmon are rather small. They don't get nearly as large as the Chinooks or the Coho that are in here, but they pay better per pound. So, yeah, you're catching smaller fish, but you're getting more money per pound when you do, uh, when you do catch these fish. So, got the walker back out there again. Now I like to reel it in at a one speed, twitching it, and then when there's slack in the line, then I, I reel it up, give it a twitch, reel it up, give it a twitch, just like that, and it usually will entice some of these uh, pink salmon, there we go, pink salmon to hit, hit it, we got another one, I don't want to lose that line tension, there we go, let's see what we got here, we can bring it up to the uh, shoreline, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got, come here. Splashing out there. This is a trophy pink salmon. All right, 7.2 pounder, $492. Not bad. Like I said, small fish, but they pay great per pound. I think they are the best paying per pound fish here in Knick Creek in Alaska. We'll go ahead and take this one and put it in the keep net. And I'm going to cast right back out there. Now, this is a cloudy day. I am in peak time. I found a natural walker works the best on the cloudy days. And uh, on sunny days, I've actually had good luck using the bright green and yellow walker out here for the pink salmon. But since it's cloudy, got a little bit darker, more natural color. And we're just going to keep doing that one speed with a twitch. One speed twitch. Now, I got to give credit to a subscriber named Hogger. You guys may recognize him for some of the streams. Uh, Hogger showed me this spot. He enlightened me. And there we go. We got another fish on. All right. That thing fighting out there. Hogger showed me this spot, and uh, yeah, I decided to give it a try. And I've caught some pretty good pink salmon, obviously trophy and commons out here. Let's reel this one and see what it is. Another pink salmon, little guy. It's all right, though. This is a good spot, and there's another good spot over here. Let me show you where it is. Now, I was out here the other day fishing with a subscriber who just so happened to be in the same server as me. A subscriber's name was Muffin Manza. And I was telling him about how I was trying to get some unique pink salmon. I got trophies, got regulars. He showed me the spot, guys. We're still at Knick Creek, taming the Knick. And Muffin Manza shared a buoy marker with me over here. 
Um, I'm just to the left this time of where you spawn in at, at Taming the Knick. Now that marker buoy is a good spot. What I normally do over here is float fish for them. I've tried top waters. I've tried different crankbaits and lures. Haven't had good luck with the pink salmon over here using those lures. We got a ding and I switched it up to float fishing, which is what Muffin Man's recommended. Got some spawn sacks, three odd hook out there right now. There is activity by that bobber, man. Look at that. And yeah, is it going to take it under? I don't know, but uh, this is a, yep, it took it under. There we go. <laughs> Got a fish on. This is a spot that he, he told me, so I'm going to try it and we'll see uh, how good we do. This seems like a nice sized fish. Maybe it's a pink salmon. Yep, let's see what size it is. Holy cow, trophy pink salmon. Another one. Very good, very good. I've been catching trophies pretty good over at the other spot, and now we got one at this spot. Let's try to see if we can get some more. All right, no luck on that cast, but I'm still going to go out there to the same spot. I like to cast about probably about anywhere from 20 to 30 feet out here, not far out whatsoever. Yeah, we're at 18, 19, not far, not far, guys. What I do is I just let the line out as the creek takes the bobber, the float, and the bait down it. And I just let it go. Oh, man. Fish escaped. I didn't even do anything. See, the river took that bait and pulled it away from the fish, unfortunately. But I'm going to leave it out there. And it can travel pretty far. The bait can travel pretty far down this creek. Now, what I do is when it reaches, usually I think it's between 60 and 80 feet. There is a, uh, I think the... Uh, creek gets a little bit more shallower so the bait stops once the bait stops and you can see that by your bobber indicator being over on its side like tilted once it stops then i just reel back in and cast it back out there we got a ding we got a ding like to hear that ding noise and see it's right over there by that marker brewery right where muffin manza told me that they'd be hitting It's not taking it under just yet, though. There we go. There we go. There we go. We set the hook on it. All right. Another fish on here, guys. Most likely a pink salmon. I've caught one coho in this area, but that was off of a lure. Let's see what we got. Another trophy pink salmon, eight pounder. Nice. Good spot here for these guys, man. Really digging it. Really digging it. Thank you, Muffin Manza, for showing me where this uh, spot is at. Same area, I'm just a little bit left to where we were fishing yesterday, fishing planet time. Uh, instead of being on that island to the right of me, I'm on the shoreline here to the left. And I switched it up from uh, spawn sex to large minnows this time, using large minnows. I'm gonna give it a shot, we'll see how it does. I bumped the hook up to a 4 aught instead of a 3 aught. And as you can see, I just got that bobber sitting out there, the bait sitting out there, waiting for something to hopefully take it under. And I want to give a shout out while I'm here to Minus. Minus is in the chat. He was also in this uh, server. He is also a subscriber. Said he was a big fan. Do appreciate your support, Minus. So I wanted to give you a shout out. It was a pleasure fishing with both of you. Uh, Manez, Muffin Manez and Minus. Both of them had a good time fishing with them the other day and today. And there we go. We got a fish on. Can't believe it's something bit. That large minnow. I wasn't expecting a pink scent. Whoa. Holy cow. Is this a pink salmon? I don't know. This might be a coho. I don't know if it's a if it's a pink salmon. I have not caught. Yeah, it's a pink salmon. I can see it. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's a pink salmon out there splashing. I have yet to catch a pink salmon that fought like this. This one is pretty huge. I can tell you that right now. I'm pretty sure it's a pink salmon. I'm not seeing any pink in the belly out there. No, it looks, yeah, it looks all silver to me. I think this is a pink salmon. Yes, it is. See how big this one is. Holy cow, boom, boss, the unique pink salmon. I've been out here for a couple days trying to catch this unique here. Finally landed it. Thank you, Minus, in the chat. Do appreciate that. Congratulations there. Man, what a good feeling catching a unique. Take some pictures of this, add it to my photo collection. Admire it for a bit longer. Guys, I think this is a great spot to end this episode of Fishing Planet. How to catch 
pink salmon. So you guys, you guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. Be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell if you want to stay up to date on future content. I'm Jake Vegas of Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world, and we will see you next time.